Shadows of Evil, Unraveling the Mystery in Language. Hello everyone, in today's video, we're going to dive into the fascinating phrase, Shadows of Evil. This phrase, often used in literature and conversations, carries a rich and intriguing meaning. We'll explore its implications and usage in English, so you can fully grasp and use this expression effectively. Remember, understanding such phrases enhances your English skills and allows you to appreciate the beauty and depth of the language. Let's unravel this mysterious phrase together. Shadows of evil is a metaphorical phrase in English. The word shadows here doesn't just refer to a dark area produced by a body coming between rays of light and a surface. Instead, it symbolizes something that is dark, unknown, or hidden. When combined with evil, which refers to something profoundly immoral and wicked, the phrase paints a picture of an ominous, hidden threat or influence. It's often used to describe situations where the presence of something harmful or malevolent is felt but not seen. This phrase is particularly popular in literature, movies, and even everyday language. In books and films, shadows of evil might be used to set a mood of suspense or foreboding. For example, a character might sense the shadows of evil in a haunted house. In everyday conversation, it's used more metaphorically. Saying a decision was made, in the shadows of evil, suggests it was influenced by negative or harmful intentions. Let's look at some examples. 1. In a mystery novel, as he walked through the abandoned mansion, he could feel the shadows of evil lurking around every corner. 2. In a political speech, this policy was crafted in the shadows of evil, without regard for the common good. These examples show how the phrase can be adapted to various contexts, adding a layer of depth and emotion to the narrative or discussion. I hope this exploration into the phrase, shadows of evil, has been enlightening. This phrase is a great example of the beauty and complexity of the English language. Remember, language is not just about words, it's about the ideas and emotions they convey. Thank you for watching, and keep learning. See you in the next video where we'll uncover more fascinating aspects of the English language.